products is that um, customers have come at us and they've said, oh, this two-pack thing is all too complicated. What Trizora has managed to do is incorporate the liquids. So this liquid has now been built in as a dry powder into the product. So now we simply have a single pack product which has the same performance and flexibility as uh, Max Seal Flex. All right, so now we're back to the water. So in this instance, we have one part water and three parts of powder, yet again. So one, two, and three. The other thing you'll notice is that I'm just using water out of a bucket. So the water doesn't have, ideally it should be clean tap water, but if you don't have access to clean tap water, it's not a crisis. Uh, we've had a situation where we've actually used brackish water to, to um, activate our product, and it's worked really well. So there we have it. Again, we're looking for that pancake batter. And one more time, we need to wet the surface, really wet. Nice and wet. And simply brush on the Max Seal Flex M. M, just for your information, stands for mono, single. So there you have it. You can see this one's a bit more runny. So that's why we don't recommend it on non-porous substrates, such as uh, permanent formwork or polycarbonate glass in swimming pools and things like that, because it just doesn't hang as quickly. And that's the story. So in summary, we've We've demonstrated four different waterproofing products, all functionally the same in the sense that they must go on a wet surface. They can withstand both positive and negative hydrostatic pressure. And we've shown that we can go from uh, non-flexible all the way to 100% elongation. The other thing that's worth noting is that none of these products are toxic. Maxial Flex and Maxial Flex M is certified against Australian Standard 4020, which uh, means that it can be used for drinking water. Um, <clears throat> Max Seal Flex M is also certified against Australian Standard 4654, which means it's uh, good for external waterproofing. Um, and these products have been around for about 40 years, and they're all imported from.